again how are you doing how are you doing man so in this video we're going to explain the second theorem of Chef theorem, okay, using unit step function. Okay, so we're going to have Laplace trans transform of that. Let's have an example. Before the the definition is this: the same idea. If we know if Laplace transform f of t f of t okay is equal f of s we know the Laplace transform of f of t then what are we gonna do we're gonna use this shift here the second shift here Laplace of f t minus or shift to c multiply by u of t shift to c or minus c shift this is equal to exponential to minus c s multiply pi the plus of the function so this is the same idea if we know Laplace of the function f of t then we're just gonna multiply it by exponential to the power of minus c s of the unit step. Let's have an example. Example. The last of sine t shift 3. Okay. Unit step t shift 3. This is equal to what? We know Laplace of uh, of sine. Okay, we know Laplace of sine t. Okay, minus three is just the shift. She, this is just shift. Okay. So we know sine t. Laplace of sine t is equal to t here is just so a t whatever. If there is a of a t constant, so it's one. So sine omega t or whatever sine omega t is equal one omega over s square plus omega squared one square. Okay, which is one. Okay, multiply by exponential minus the shift. The shift is three, not minus three. Okay, the shift is three. Okay, and then you're gonna put s because some people would mistakenly do just replace minus by minus and then they make it like this. This is wrong. A shift is three, not minus. Three. So you just replace c by the shift, which is three. Okay, that is very easy and very well what if we have another function the class of cosine cosine t shift 3 u of t shift 3 can you get the best transform of this oh you would ask me a question what is the best transform of cosine t first then the plus transform of cosine t is equal to s over s square plus omega square. Omega square is still 1. So if this is omega constant, it's 1. So 1 squared is equal 1. Then multiply by the shift. The shift is 3. So we're going to put 
we just replace the C with 3 and then S. What if the shift is 4? Put 4, 5, 5, and so on. So if you have sine multiplied by unit function or unit step function that shows exactly the shift, this is the shift, then you're gonna put the Laplace of the function, of f of s of the function, then multiply by exponential to the power of the shift. Multiply by s. In the next video, we're gonna take another uh, Laplace transform. If you like this video, please share, like, subscribe to our channel, and see you in the next video.